So we're continuing with quadratic functions, completing the squares and finding the vertex. Um, and here it's a word problem, the example. Uh, you are constructing a garden as shown. So the garden is a rectangular garden with three plots in it. Um, and you have 80 yards of fencing um, and you're trying to um, uh, the goal in the entire problem is to maximizing the area um, the, of a garden that looks like this and has 80 yards of um, fencing around it. So the fences go uh, all, uh, all around it and uh, their dividers need uh, some fence also. Um, so the problem is actually helping you set up this uh, optimization um, issue. And so it starts with express the dimension, dimension y as a function of x. Um, let's see, if I'm using 80 yards of fencing, it goes this way, this way, this way, this way, and here and here, um, I should be able to add up this length, this length, this, 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 and it should add up to 80. So that would be 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x, and then 1y, 2y. So 2y plus 4x equal to 80 yards. Um, and so I'm still on part A. Now here, uh, the plan is to solve uh, for y, uh, y in here to express y as a function of x. So we use the restriction that we had, that was 80 yards. We set up the equation. Now we solve for one of the variables with respect to the other variable. That's always the start of an optimization. Uh, that that is most likely a start of an optimization problem. So now from here, um, I'm going to subtract 4x to isolate y, isolate y, and then divide by what multiplies by y to get 80 minus 4x divided by 2. One more step. Uh, I can um, separate the numerator. Again, denominator you cannot separate, but the numerator you can separate. So that's what I'm going to do next. y equal to 80 divided by 2 minus 4x divided by 2. And the result is y equal to 40 minus 2x. That's the part A. Now let's do part B. B says express the area as a function of x. So I expressed y as a function of x. Now, what is the area? Let's write down the area of a rectangle is the one side times the other side x times y. Now, if I want to make this as a, a function of x only, then um, I have to replace y by what I found over here. So function of x only becomes x times 40 minus 2x. Um, for reasons that will be apparent in C, since we're trying to uh, optimize this problem, I would like to distribute that x in. Again, let's go back here. I like to, for optimization, there are a few functions that we can actually optimize uh, in pre-calculus. Um, one of them would be quadratic, and then we learn um, 
the trig functions that we can optimize, and piecewise the fine functions. And right now, this um, this should actually look like a quadratic, um, the, the standard form of a quadratic. This is a quadratic, and I want to make it look like the standard form of the quadratic. So I distribute, and I get a of x is equal to 40x minus 2x squared. That's part b. So the last part is find the maximum area. To find the maximum area, I need to find uh, the x value that creates the maximum area. Let's go back to the function. Function area is 40x minus 2x squared. Um, this is a quadratic function and the maximum happens uh, and with uh, this is b a and this is b in the quadratic function and the maximum happens at the vertex because a is negative and the quadratic is looking downward so the maximum will happen at its vertex so what we'll what we'll do we find the dimension that that will create that vertex. Um, and that would be the x value for the vertex. Let's see. And, and the x value for the vertex, which is h, is equal to negative b over 2a. Negative b is negative 4d divided by 2a and simplifies to 10. So 10 yards is the length of the, uh, is x. x is equal to 10. Now, um, what I want to do is to find a maximum um, area that can be found. Again, x equal to 10 will maximize this function. So if I plug in 10 in here, I should get the maximum area. So that's what I'm going to do. A at 10 equal to 40 times 10 minus 2 times 10 to power 2. And if you simplify, it's 40 times 10, which is 400, minus 2 times 100, 200. Um, and that would be 200 yard squared. Um, and so this is the maximum area. This is the, uh, the uh, this length when the maximum area is rendered. What is remaining is this y value. Again, um, go back to this function to actually find the other dimension of the garden when the maximum area is rendered. And so plug in 10 in there. to get 20, and y equal to 20 is the other dimensions. A brief overview of the problem. Um, we were trying to maximize the area with a restriction of 80 yards fencing. Uh, what we did is that we, we used um, the restriction to write one of the variables as a function of the other one. Then we form the function that we were maximizing. That would be the area. Um, that was a quadratic function. We use the, um, the formula that we have for the, for the independent variable of the quadratic. Uh, functions vertex to find the x value that maximizes the area. 
then we plugged it back into the area function to find the maximum area then we plugged it back into the y function to find the, dim the other dimension that maximizes the area things to notice 10 times 20 again gives 200. So that was another way of finding the maximum area. You could have found y. Next, after you found x, you could have found y and then found that 200 that way. So this is the overall feeling of it. Most uh, questions that geometric questions involve in pre-calculus have the same feeling to them. Um, it, regarding the quadratic functions. They have the same feeling to them. You, If you notice, you had to memorize this part. Um, and you have to remember that the vertex makes gives you the maximum. The other thing that sometimes is confusing, since I named this y, um, it feels to some people that this might be the function that I'm maximizing. No, you have to read the problem. The problem is telling you that you're maximizing the area. And I'm done with this one.